that there's a, a forest fire. Okay. And if this was your hive or your home and it was on fire, what you do is you go and grab all the most important things that are in it. Uh -huh. Well, in this case, what their most important thing is, is uh, their honey. So what they do is engorge themselves with honey, which makes them lethargic and does, makes them less aggressive. How many bees are in there right now? Probably about 35, 40,000. That's way out. Broken, broken hive wear. Like I put in a new top. I've been stung quite a few, but it was always my own fault. I never, never once did a bee come out and sting me for no reason whatsoever. Pollen and nectar. Now what I'm doing is I'm cracking off the honey super. This is the main part of the hive right here. This is, uh, in this case, this will be my secondary brood chamber. These guys will come and go all day. I can see them coming and going, uh, probably about two, three thousand at a time, going out and forging on the crops. They flip out. Bees sense like a dog, you know, you're afraid. Look down here. You see there's like a little white dot. This yeah. is where she starts. What this is, is this is the top part of the brood chamber, and what we have here is like honey around the outsides, and then some pollen which is where the uh, amino acids and glucoses and a lot of the proteins come from. And then in here, these are cap cells. And then if you come down here and look, there's like little white larvae. Now these are bees that have been laid by the queen recently. Now I'm a little bit more enthused about it that more people might take an interest and um, perhaps bring something out to release more funds for the professionals to start researching it.